beloved brothers, sisters, and other sympathizers. In the first place, I thank God Almighty. Praise the Lord of Jesus Christ for the grace I have to perform this function. So I want to thank the official for giving me this privilege. As he has announced, we are in the stage of the order of five parts. We all see the remains of our late mother, sister, and colleague, late sister Mama Ademike, Lufuke, and Akimbelu. Beloved brothers and sisters and fellow sympathizers, for the purpose of orderliness and decency, we are going to take it in order which I am going to announce. I want one and all to please comply with what I want to announce. The first on the list is the Ministers of God's Kingdom Society, GKS, who is conducting the burial ceremony. The ministers and the lost ministry sisters will follow thereafter the children and the relatives of Mama we also follow. After that, the administrative committee, which is leaders of the church in various branches, we need other main sympathizers here present. After the main sympathizers are gone, the, the women fellowship will not take their turn, leading other women sympathizers. Then I think that will be all by the grace of God. At this stage, I want to invite the choir, the organist, rather, to please give us some solemn songs from the theocratic songs of praise of the God's Kingdom Society. Why I humbly invite the ministers of God's Kingdom Society, led by a member of the executive board, the ruling body of the church, the person of Brother Odi Akimwande, to lead other ministers here present in seeing the remains of our late mother, sister, and colleague by the grace of God. Over to you, sir. TSP 102. TSP 102. At page 5, Pro. TSP 102. The ministers of God's Kingdom Society, they are taking their turn as far as the five parts our late sister and mother.
place of her mind. You should be dead because of good works. Imagine why she was alive. Indeed, in the matters of her mind, she was fighting as a man. Others will come to the doctor. Her Lord worked very hard, serving God faithfully while she was alive.
Glasgow girls can now close the glass doors. The next item we have is the reading of tributes in memory of our late sister. I will call again on Brother Ogemero on Nakugoto. We will also help us to direct the order of the reading of tributes in memory of our late sister, Sister Mama Adenike Akibeyo, Brother Ogemero on Nakugoto, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Privilege I have once again to carry out another function. Beloved brothers, sisters, and fellow sympathizers, this is the high time where we speak on how much we know about Mama. And indeed, I want to invite the Lagos Island branch of God's Kingdom Society, GKS, the Church of the Living God who we have mama sat with all the days of her life before her demise. At this stage, I want to invite the GKS Lagos Island branch to step out to read the other, the region tributes. Thereafter, the European national body will take their turn before we switch over to the family, then the children, who have their various children to read. Please, the Lagos Island branch, and it will be read by Brother Good, Goodwill, the young um, secretary of Lagos Island branch, GK. Congratulations. We are representing members of the branch where Mama was a very conspicuous leader of the sisters' folk. We're just representing, would love to come in more than this number. There's a tribute in memory of late sister Mama Adenike Olufunke Akimpe Ni Sijuade. She was a princess. Glory, praises, and thanks be to Jehovah the Almighty God, through His beloved Son Jesus Christ, for this opportunity we have to gather here to accord a befitting and glorious Christian burial to an active, steadfast, faithful, committed, and well-respected member of the God's Kingdom Society, the Church of the Living God. Talking about the late sister, Adenike Ulufo Ke Akimperu Ni Siyuale, who passed away on Thursday, November 2021, right old age of 88 years, by God's grace. Indeed, I quote, to every thing there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens a time to be born and a time to die unquote as it is now the case with the disease and uh, quoting Exodus chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 the late sister Adenike of Kimberlou who came into this sinful world Eight years ago, hailed from the royal family of the Ilefe, the royal family of Ilefe in the Ife Central Local Government area of Ashun State. She joined the faith of the God's Kingdom Society, the GKS, by God's grace through the family relationship she had with the late brother O. O. Ushino and his brother A. O. Ushino. As a young woman, where she rose to the position of a recognized member of the church and later became the chairperson of the GKS Women Fellowship, which replaced the erstwhile Sisters Committee in the then Lagos State Branch. Then we had just one branch of Lagos, now we have about nine branches. She was in charge of all these branches. 
She did that before she relocated to the U.S. to join her children who are based there. She succeeded some other sisters and all that in this leadership role. She was a good example of a true leader, a very accommodating, kind, humble, and a mother to all. We remember her as a zealous member who worked assiduously, selflessly, and faithfully to promote the progress and growth of New Jerusalem. She never looked back. Luke chapter 9, verse 16, verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 62, Hebrews 10, verse 39. And although she could no longer attend church services on returning to Nigeria following uh, her challenges, she still remembered her first love. In line with Revelation chapter 2, verses 4 and 5, the GKS faith, as evidenced by her own confessions and visible expressions of joy during each of the visits that the Lagos Island branch of the church paid to her at her Alagbara estate residence in the recent past. It is worth recalling too that the late sister Akimben was a qualified nurse of no mean repute who, by virtue of her hard work and diligence, rose to become the chief major of both the General Hospital Lagos Island and subsequently at General Hospital Padagri before retiring on the roof from civil service. She willingly offered assistance to members of the church who needed help while she was in the hospital. She would go to any length to support any member of the church as a matron then. Moreover, she was equally well known in the circle of the Yoruba members of the church in Lagos because she identified closely with the group and took very active part in their meetings and other functions, including cultural dances in which she participated passionately as an avid lover of music in praise of the Creator whenever the occasion arose by God's grace. She showed royalty in everything she did. She was an outstanding leader and even taught the Yoruba sisters subjects of the Holy Bible in Yoruba language. Our dear mama had a very friendly, accommodating, and charming mien, and her smiles were always graceful and so warmly infectious, all of which we shall deeply now miss. As a wife, and in spite of some of the odds against her, she remained virtuous, dutiful, and loving to her late husband and to her children. She was a caring and tender mother who always sought their progress and well-being. To many others who knew her, she was kind, courteous, and generous. But like all frail mortal beings, she had her own faults, which in Solomon, under inspiration, declared in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 20, to wit, for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not of good. For our late dear mother and sister, the struggles of life and life. Those of us still living should therefore think of the inevitable end to which we are all subject to. Think deeply and seize this opportunity to reflect soberly and seriously about ourselves with a view to living a godly, humble, and righteous lives in fear of God. So that when it pleases God, what we are talking think about Mama Nash can also be said about us. It is our firm belief that God Almighty, according to his rich promises by his grace and power, will raise our late mother and dear sister back to life, like all others who are now sleeping in the sleep of death. He's talking about Psalm 13, verse 3. And give her just reward here on earth in his glorious, perfect, and everlasting kingdom of endless happiness and peace, the hope which she herself firmly shared and cherished in her lifetime. It is our earnest prayer that the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort 
grant us all, especially the bereaved children and family members, the fortitude and calmness to bear a huge loss. And we also wish everyone safe journey back to our respective homes and endeavors by his grace. Amen. Thank you all. This is signed. The secretary and chairman, Mumbra Dumriya, Mumbra Professor Ho, the other's chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. GKS Legal Silent Branch. Please, all your other organizations, please join me. All cannot come here. They can stand from wherever they are. Those who are associating with uh, the Yoruba National Body. Those who can step out, then others can as well stand back in their seat. Tribute in memory of this sister mama, I didn't care, but I didn't care, I didn't care, I didn't care, I didn't care, I during a burial ceremony on 4th of January 20, the year 2022. A jewel in Israel had gone the way of all flesh. At the age of 88 years, late Mama Adenike Akinkeru was blessed to have and exceeded the three score and ten grades of living. Sister Mama, I didn't care. I can will be remembered for a good Christian life full of faithful deeds in obedience to her maker. She was a leader of women, a church person of women fellowship in the Church of the Living God, the GKS. She was very strict as an enforcer of course instructions about Christian women, but very friendly and had an interest in people. She was a disciplinarian, especially in the bringing up in God, in God the admonition of the young women in the church. I will not compromise standards. She was a recognized member of the church, the GKS, and enjoyed high respect among the women folk and the men alike. She related amicably with people in virtually all matters. Her person was dignified. She was calm in behavior and was never known to be presumptuous. Mama Kipel, who served God well to the best of her ability, she was faithful to the end. She died in the death of the righteous. Mama Kipel had not gone to heaven, but she be the grave till the day of resurrection of the dead, when we shall all see her again by the grace and power of God. Read John 5, 28, 29. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 13, 14, and 18. And I will cheat it personally. It's not part of the stupid, but I don't remember what she did in my life when I lost it. When I wanted to wear it in the year 1985, and Marky Pedro stood in by me. She did not let me feel that I've lost my mother. She played the role of a mother in my way which I will never forget. This tribute will be issued by the GKS of Yoruba National. Thank for listening. Thank you very much, GKS of Yoruba National. For that good words you have spoken.
All I just want to say, I'll say in this song that I'm going to sing. Daily as we leave, as often as we breathe, may our whole lives be expression of His grace. Daily as we leave, as often as we breathe, may our whole lives
Next is Chief Dr. Tony Ojuti. Okay. Chief Dr. Tony Ojuti, who is going to be? Ojuti. Please pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Please be here. That is okay. Take it close to family, friends, everybody, the children of the deceased. I don't even like the word deceased. The children of our departed loved one. She will always be in her heart. You have to look in that book, say whatever you see under Dr. Mrs. Ujitiku's name until you are going back to your body. I didn't know it was that lengthy, but that was just how much I felt. It's like there is a hole now in my heart. There is a realization that I am now an elder on that side of the family. Um, when you have Dr. Mrs. Adibeson and the learned lawyer beside her, you have even a Rain balding nephew, brother. You have uh, Aki, Aki Tunde, who is uh, like uh, the tallest man in this auditorium today. You can imagine how totally overwhelmed I am with the responsibility of holding up the family. I'm related to my aunt from her mother's uh, side of the family. And um, she was basically the one who raised my generation. She was kind, she was firm, empathetic. You just had to watch yourself when she was around. Not that she was going to do anything with you, but uh, just that look kept you in your place. And um, I can't go into what she means or what she meant in my life. I just remember that her mom, who was my grandmother's niece, told me at my wedding some 50 something years ago, like Jiju now and counting, she said, you know, it's strange that I married an Ife man and you have gone to marry another Ife man. So are you going to continue being my daughter? Are you going to continue being or a wife to me? And I didn't even realize the implication of what she was saying then. And then she said, the way to true marital life is just to believe. Just believe in your husband. And I'm sure she must have said that to many of the ladies in this God's kingdom. I knew. Look, I know that the Shikwade family were basically, they basically belong to the African church, the African church. That was the Shikwade family church. How she migrated to GKS, I do not know, but what GKS has done in her life, I want to salute the priests, the fathers in the Lord, for taking care of my auntie all these years. The ladies who belong to is it the Yoruba yeah, the Yoruba group. I think I am a fairly non tribalistic person, Nigerian. I just see myself as a Nigerian. I want to thank this this gentleman that I met for the first time on Tuesday. I can feel their love and all for the family. Thank you for coming all this way with us, giving her last honors, and I want to wish everybody well. I want to thank my husband, Dr. Luka Yodorizu, a chief of uh, the VFA. That's the person I follow my great aunt to Ife to the VFA. And uh, I want to sell Ife to <laughs> <laughs> Ife men are really very 